September 7 marks the centenary of the Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley. It's indeed fitting to use this medium to honor one of Jamaica's great literary ambassadors. The Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley, Miss Lou, has contributed so much to Jamaica's cultural landscape. Known best for her poetry and social activism, Louise Bennett was born on September 7, 1919. Since an early age, she had the taste for the theatrics, and at 17, she recited her first poem at a concert at the Coke Methodist Church in 1936. However, her early works were not appreciated, mainly because of her use of the Jamaican dialect, as the British accent was highly admired at the time. Nevertheless, Louise Bennett remained persistent in using the Jamaican dialect in her poetry as she wanted her poems to be a mirror reflection of the life and philosophy of Jamaicans. Miss Lou's poem, Colonization in Reverse, became one of the main sources of her fame. It reflected the thoughts of the minorities of post-colonial times who were residing in the UK. In this poem, she touched the sensitive topic of racial inequality experienced by Jamaicans as well as South Asians under the post-colonial rule, and especially those minorities who had moved to England in search of better jobs but were facing oppression at the hands of the British. In 1945, Louise Bennett went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in England, then later joined the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, and hosted Caribbean Carnival and West Indian Night on Radio. She later married Eric Winston Coverley in 1954, and in 1956, she became the drama officer at the Jamaica Social Welfare Commission. Later on, Louise Bennett got appointed as its director. Bennett also taught drama at the University of the West Indies Extramural Department and at some other agencies. Miss Lou was subsequently awarded the Member of the British Empire for her work with the Jamaican Theatre and also received several other awards nationally and internationally, like the insignia of Order of Jamaica in 1974 by the Government of Jamaica for her extraordinary performance in the School of Literature and Arts. Louise Bennett was also a strong advocate for women's rights. This is reflected in her poem, on Jamaican women, which highlights the versatility, strength, and power of the Jamaican woman. Louise Bennett lived the last decade of her life in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. She died on July 27, 2006 at the Scarborough Grace Hospital after collapsing at her home. A memorial service was held in Toronto on August 3, 2006, after which her body was flown to Jamaica to lie in state at the National Arena on August 7 and 6. A funeral service was held in Kingston at the Coke Methodist Church at East Parade on the 9th of August 2006, followed by her interment in the Cultural Icon Section of Jamaica's National Heritage Park. <laughs>